The Triad Aviation Academy in Greensboro is doing its part to help the relief efforts in Western North Carolina. The first two weeks, the fleet was making about five trips a day with supplies. Fox News Gretchen Stinger. She spoke with a few pilots making the trips. Some of the pilots were even students happy to be making a difference. More warm blankets. So many aviators in the North Carolina area were like, we have aircraft, we have skills, how can we get stuff out there? The Triad Aviation Academy is a small school leaving a big mark. And we're just going to keep filling till we're filled to the brim. Just so thankful to be so full that we need to do that. <laughs> John Chester started flying a year ago and he's been able to experience new lessons in the air while helping his neighbors in Western North Carolina. It was just like, finally, I can do something to have an impact. And it's just, instead of just flying to Shiloh and doing slam and goes, it was like, finally, I can go take supplies, even if it's only 200 pounds. With roots back in Black Mountain to Lucas Adams, it's a humbling experience. You know, a lot of the supplies I've taken are going to be being spread out and have been spread out into my hometown community. And his aircraft gave him a different point of view. So I got to kind of fly over my house and my community and check things out. It was interesting to see the, the bird's eye view of things, as you know, through social media and um, all the pictures I've seen online, you know, you could tell how bad some of the damage was, but seeing it all at once from an overhead perspective was, it was interesting, you know, it's kind of hard to, hard to see. At first, flying to Western North Carolina posed a number of challenges until determined pilots pulled together to find solutions. It started with literally just a young man or a young woman with an airplane flying over these airports to see if they could even land there. There were a bunch of small airports that even a week after Helene had happened were still covered in mud, didn't have any way to access those airports. The radios weren't working, no one could communicate, but how people were able to get that help out there is some people were saying, this airport, like Asheville, which is a larger airport out there, they were able to get their signals back first to say, hey, we need supplies. Once they had the go ahead, flight after flight after flight, they slowly got supplies into the hands of people in need. Even if people who had small planes and they're like, I can only take out 50 pounds to these places, that's blankets, it's sweatpants, it's, you know, it's life-saving supplies. And for student pilot John Chesser, his perspective changed for good. And to see just like everyone come together for it was just, that's what made it I think so cool just to see how much everyone was chipping in to help. Flight instructor Adams took me along on a flight to show me just how close they can get and how much supplies they can take into the cockpit. But safety always comes first for this group. And while weather conditions didn't allow us to fly far, it was a new perspective on how the general aviation community in the triad can do so much good. The Triad Aviation Academy will continue to make supplies, take supplies, I should say, to Western North Carolina as they receive them. They're hoping to take more supplies to keep people warm as the temperatures continue to fall.